Is it on now? Yeah. Let's see if I got my focus. Everything. Okay. We're in good shape. Where's my glasses? <clears throat> we might have company in and out of my way. Okay, Alfred, you told me, tell me your name again. Alfred Dane Ramsey. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, where were you oh. born? <laughs> <laughs> where were you born? Uh, on this farm, the house was tore down, right? the little red house. Right? What's this address? 138 Simmering Road. 138 Simmering Road is this address right here. Yeah. We're, we're at your house now. Yeah. And you're born across the street? No, on the same side. Okay. Here. There's the house no house. Gone. Oh, the, the, the house, house is gone. gone. Okay. Now, um, what was your occupation? Farmer? Before or after? Uh, the service. After the service. Oh, I worked at Williams Manufacturing Company for about 21 years uh -huh. until they closed. And then I went out to uh, Goodyear Atomic and worked about 13 and a half years. Okay, did you do some farming too on and off? Well, just, just cutting hay enough for uh -huh. horses. Okay. Um, how much education have you had? Uh, high school. Okay, did you finish high school? Yeah. Are you married? Yes. <laughs> How long have you been married? Since uh, 1949. What's your wife's name? Dorothy. Dorothy. Now let me ask you this. What were your parents' names? What was your father's name? Sadie S. Ramsey. That was your father's yes. name? S-A-D-I-E? -E. Okay. You want the middle name? Yeah, what was the middle name? Solomon. Sadie Solomon. Sadie Solomon Rams. That's a good one. What was your mom's name? Vady. V-A-D-I-E. Vady and Sadie? Yeah. Yeah. What was her maiden name? Uh, Farley. Was she from around here? Uh, no. She was from Buffalo, Kentucky. Okay. Now, do you know your father's parents' names? Yeah. All right. What are they? George W. Ramsey and... Uh, Jenny Ramsey, my grandmother. Her maiden name was what? Uh, Iyer, I believe. Iyer? Uh, A-Y-R-E. A-Y-E, okay. Ayer, Wire, okay. Yeah. And uh, now what were your mother's parents' names? Uh, I can't think of it. Okay, if you think of it, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Now how many children did you have? And four. And their names were? Connie. Connie, uh, C-O-N-N-I-E. Yeah. Female. And uh, Alfred uh, Jr. Okay. And Roger. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dana. Dana. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Who was that that showed up right there? Was that? <laughs> that was my wife. Okay. We're going to get close up with that in a little bit. Okay. Now you have grandchildren too, don't you? Now Connie's Connie's children. You know her their name. Oh gosh. Is that Connie out there? No, that's no, a, that's Dana. That's Dana. That's Dana. Okay. Um, Let's see. Doug, Gina, Lisa, and Nicole. Okay. That's her four kids. Okay. Now, Alfred Jr.'s and children is uh, Alfred Serena. The, Serena. Uh, <laughs> Alfred, Alfred the third. Alfred the third. And uh, Amy Brooke. Amy Brooke. Yeah. You didn't know there'd be a test, did you? <laughs> now, your, your third. What, what was the name of the third one? Your third child? Uh, Roger. Roger. What were his? Does he have children? Yeah. What are their names? Oh gosh. Let's see. Elizabeth, Lynn, Valerie, and Eric. Okay. Now, Dana. What are her children? Uh, Raymond and Ashley. Ashley. Okay. Yeah. Who was that young girl that went by us here? And my wife. 
No, that young oh, girl. Yeah, 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 that's Ashley. That's Ashley. <laughs> that young girl was <laughs> what? You answered just perfect. <laughs> that, that was uh, Ashley. Okay, we we'll her right. Dana girl. All right, all right. That was a perfect answer. Now, you were in the Navy, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, did you join? Were you drafted? What was the deal there? No, I enlisted uh, the 16th of February, 1943. Okay. And was called to active duty March the 3rd, 1943. Okay. And when did were you discharged? Uh, February the 16th, 1945. 46. 46. 46. Okay. And uh, what was your rank when you were discharged? Radio man first class. Radio man? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, uh, where were you when uh, Pearl Harbor happened? I was in the old home place down here. Okay. Uh, I was, uh, let's see, junior in high school. Okay. Uh, how did you find out? Heard on the radio. You were all listening to the radio on a Sunday? Yeah. Okay, is it something you always did? Listen yeah. to the radio. What did your dad do? What was he? Well, he was a boiler maker, but he worked on WPA for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And then while I was in service, he was a guard down at the field mill. Okay. Now, uh, what did you think when you heard this announcement over the radio? Didn't mean much? Didn't mean a lot right then. Okay. Didn't know where Pearl Harbor was? <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew where it was. Did you? Okay. Yeah. All right. What did your father and mother think? Well, that... Uh, I, I really didn't know. They they knew it was something terrible to happen, mm -hmm. but uh, they never did say much okay. then. Uh, did you have brothers and sisters? Yeah. Did they, any of them go in the service? Yeah, all of them. All of them went in? Uh, except for Eileen Nell and two except girls. Except for girls? But the four, uh, the four boys did. Okay. <coughs> Your brother's names were what? Ted Orr and... Uh, Sadie Jr. and Carl mm -hmm. and Alice. Okay. Did they all make it back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, are are they still living or what? Uh, no, two of them are dead. Okay. Who's uh, Carl and uh, Jr. Okay. So and Theodore's. Uh, Theodore's still living and I'm living. Where's he? Where is he? In uh, Dayton. Dayton. Now, uh, where did you do your basic training? Great Lakes, Illinois. Were you trained? Well, that was your basic training, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then later, were you trained as a radio man? Yeah, at University of Chicago. Okay. How long were you there at the University of Chicago? Uh, six months. Okay. Um, did you have to learn Morse code in there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you still know Morse code? Oh, yeah. Do you? Oh, sure. Could you tap it out <laughs> if I gave you a key? Oh, yeah. Well, if I had a key, I could. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. That's just like typing. You never never forget it. You never forget it. No. Uh, okay. Uh, now, after, um, let's see, you're about, you were there for a while, and then after the University of, after you were trained as a radio man, what happened to you then? I went to uh, Camp Bradford, Virginia, mm -hmm. stayed there about uh, four or five weeks, mm -hmm. and then took a train to Evansville, Indiana, and picked up the LST, mm -hmm. 542, went down to Mississippi to New Orleans. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, well, what time is that now? Are we in 1944 yet? No, uh, still 43. 43. Mm -hmm. And uh, when did you get to Mississippi? You remember? Oh, I can't remember. It would be around two, Christmas time. Two or three days. Uh, we took our shakedown cruise in the Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. okay. After we went down the river, see, we had to take the mast down to get out of the bridges. And so okay. Down. Okay. And uh, we took a shakedown cruise, and after that, we left and went up to uh, New York. Okay. And in April 1943, we left Nova Scotia. That'd be 44, wouldn't it? I mean, did you go in in 43? 40, yeah. You went in the service of 43. Yeah. yeah okay. and, 44 yeah. in April. Okay. 44, we left Nova Scotia for England. Okay. And the uh, tail end of a 200 ship convoy. All right. That's a 
pretty big convoy. Right? Mm -hmm. Were there any sinkings? No, not, not in our convoy. Um, now, when you were in New York there, after your shakedown cruise in the Gulf of Mexico, you yeah. came back up to New York. Yeah. Is that right? Um, and uh, you are the radio man on the ship. Yeah. What was the name of that ship? Did it have LST-542. They didn't have a name back during the war, but after the war, they named them after a county. Okay. Or it was Shellen County. Shellen. C H L E N. Where is Shellen? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's in Ohio. <laughs> no, uh, it's uh, named after some county. All right, all right. So 540. You got a picture up there too, don't you? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I'm gonna zoom in on that. Is that your ship then? Yeah. Where would your position be in this ship? Would it be in, back in here somewhere? Yeah, up in the wheelhouse. Okay, up back in the wheelhouse. All right. Uh, let me see if I... Looks like there might be some glare on there. No, that's all right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the, when you say the wheelhouse, you're near the pretty near the captain there, aren't you? Yeah. You remember your captain's name? Oop. J.A. Voltro. What? J-A-U-T-R-O-T. T-R-O-T. What was the last name? Voltro. Okay. V-A-R. V O U T R O T. Okay. And uh, was he a good captain? Yeah, he's got, he came up through the ranks. He, he was, was like shit. And he was a signalman. Here, here, let's, let's get this one too. He was a signalman? Yeah. And he. That's uh, sort of related to Radio Man, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So he takes semaphore and all that. Okay. Now who's that fellow you're holding on to there? That picture. Yeah, I, Some guy we know? I'd like to uh, be back then. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, with that uniform on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you must have been home on leave, I bet. Yeah. Were you? What's your dog's name? Uh, Rover. Was that dog's name Rover? Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, Guy doesn't exist anymore, does he? <laughs> I'm trying to think of when that picture was made. I, I think that's one of those second class. I can't see the stripes. I think, uh, would there be two stripes there? Yeah. I think there's... Be two or three. I think there's three. Well, that was uh, after I made first class. Okay. Very good. Um, now, you're up in New York, and uh, uh, did you get Liberty in New York? Yeah, <laughs> you know why you're about my liberty. Tell me, tell me, what what does a uh, young sailor, unmarried, do when he gets liberty? First thing, <laughs> first thing, first thing, get a drink, get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and yep. does he get? Now, the, then, then he gets a second well. drink. And he'll look, yeah, okay, then he went for the well. well. <laughs> okay, how long was your liberty in New York? Oh, we had liberty about every night while I was in dry dock. Okay. We were in uh, dry dock getting, well, we put a LCT on, What's that? on the main deck. L what is it? That's a landing craft, uh, a flat bottom, carried troops in. Oh, okay. Okay. So you were hauling ships. You were hauling these landing crafts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. How many did you have on board? Uh, I think the crew was about 125, supposed to okay. have buried one of them get sick or something. Okay, okay. About 125. Well, in April 1944, you're leaving Nova Scotia. Did you get liberty in Nova Scotia? No. I, okay. Well, no, we came up from New York and joined the convoy. And would have been any fun anyway, would it? No. I doubt it. <laughs> Nothing like New York. Okay, how long did it take you to get across the Atlantic? About one month. You were at sea for a month. A Around time. that. Okay. The convoy speed was uh, five knots. That's slow. That's slow. Well, the top speed for an LST is seven. Flank speed. So <laughs> everyone. So every, all the merchant ships and everybody. The they had to slow down speed for you. They had to slow yeah, down probably, for you. Well, it was 200 LSTs. 
on the tail end of this convoy. Now, I don't know how many ships was in the convoy, but there were 200 LSP. I'm amazed you didn't lose something along the way. Well, when, you're, uh, when you get over there, uh, where do you end up? In Liverpool or where? Uh, Portsmouth? Or? I'm trying to think of a little town in Scotland. What was it Scotland? Uh, but I can't remember the town. We did. Uh... Come here. Who's this? Come here. Come here. Who's this? Come that, here. That, uh, that, uh, Turn around. Al Alfred the Third's daughter. Look right in there. What's your name? Taylor. Taylor. Is your name Taylor? Yeah. Okay. You are a great grandchild, then. Is that right? Or yeah. grandchild? No, great grand. Great grandchild, Taylor. This is your great grandpa right here. You knew that. Didn't you? He's going to be on film, and now you're on film, too. All right. You go where you want to go. Oh, yeah, get that Mountain Dew. <laughs> and, and, and in Scotland there, uh, what happened? We, we just had, stayed there overnight, and then went down to Milford Haven in England and unloaded the LCT. And uh, then on June... June the 1st, I believe it was, we went up the uh, Thames River next to London mm -hmm. and uh, loaded up with troops mm -hmm. and trucks, jeeps, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. so the morning of June the 6th, we were sa sailing down between Calais and England. Okay. Decoy. You were a decoy. Yeah, there was a bunch of them. I don't think I'd like to be a decoy. <laughs> well, see, that's where the Germans thought uh, uh, we were going to land. So you were uh, participated in the uh, Normandy invasion, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. About five hours, it must have been about 11 o'clock when we hit the beach. Okay. When you hit the beach, your yeah. ship? Yeah, okay. on Juneau Beach. Okay. We, we carried Canadian troops. Okay. Um, now, um, were you were you see any enemy while you're out there as a decoy? The planes flying over? No, uh, okay. no. It uh, more or less just uh, as I said, a decoy okay. to think, make the Germans think we was going to land in, in Calais. See, it? Calais is the narrowest part of the English Channel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you wanted them to think that you're going to. Land yeah, there. That's what Eisenhower decided okay. to do. Did you ever see Eisenhower? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. How close were you to him? Not very close, just in path. Okay. Yeah, he was he was the general of the whole thing, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Uh, did you ever see anybody else famous? Raymond Mullen. Who? <laughs> Ray Mullen. Ray Mullen. <laughs> <laughs> I've got him on tape. Yeah, well, yeah. see, uh, didn't, he, didn't he tell you about uh, go meet me on my ship. I took him across think, the channel. And, yeah, I think he did. I and um, turned him loose over there in France. <laughs> <laughs> and he just raised all kinds of heck at Yeah, I, I've been writing to him and I knew what uh, regiment he was in and so forth. And when we loaded, well, I, I knew he was there. And uh, I asked some of the guys, and they didn't know anybody by the name of Mullen, Raymond. And then finally one of them said, you mean Blondie. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was called Blondie. I don't think he told me that part about think. Blondie. Because uh, Bonnie, see, his wife, that was a blonde, and he uh, talked the world of her, and they called him Blondie because he wrote so many letters. Uh, yeah, well, that's funny, but uh, he was on your ship? Yeah. He was uh, all those Canadians? No, 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 that, that, over. Yeah, it was later on. We made about 39 trips back and forth. From England to? To uh, the beach of Omaha, Cherbourg, and then we even went up to to Rouen. Okay. The Seine River. Okay. And we went up there, and I don't know what we took now. I can't remember. Probably some trucks. Okay. Unloaded them. Come now, back down the river. Now, um, your first landing was at Juneau. Yeah. And then you went back, got something else, maybe troops or trucks. Yeah, and, and then that. And, that, and it, it, it all depended on what we took. So I, we uh, run on the beach at Omaha 
and uh, how soon did you get to Omaha? I think it was about uh, five or six hours after uh, they landed, six o'clock I think it was, and, and it, it just uh, enough time to cross the channel. Mm -hmm. We were already loaded, so mm -hmm. after the key decoy was over, well, we just headed straight on over to Juno Beach. Okay. Was it pretty much a mess? The oh, yeah. Uh, I went ashore once, and there was dead German shoulder, uh, soldiers in the, in foxholes and things. And uh, I didn't go too far, because there were landmines around, and the Canadians wouldn't let us go very far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, now after, uh, you, you say you made about 39 trips over? Yeah. Within a period of what, a day, two days, or? No. That was a, about a year and a half. Oh, within the whole period of time yeah. there were 39. Yeah. Okay. See, we'd take, probably... a, take a load over and then bring casually back or German prisoners okay. on the big tank deck. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was 39 trips that we made all told. And then we went to Norway. When was that? Took uh, troops up there because they had surrendered. And then we uh, went to the Channel Islands twice, mm -hmm. taking troops there and bringing German prisoners back. Mm -hmm. okay. So, and then I think it was July or August, we came back in 40, 45. July or August, somewhere around there. I know I, I took a, we had 30 day leave and I took it in September. Were you in the United States then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we came back to Norfolk. And, uh, so basically, you were, you were stationed in England the whole time, weren't you? Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Um, Most of the time in Weymouth, we'd pick up uh, maybe a cargo or whatever in Portsmouth, Weymouth, Milford Haven, and uh, there's another little town there. But uh, just whatever they had first to take over. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did, did you take leave in England a lot? Uh, not, there. not too much. I took a 10-day leave once in London. Mm -hmm. Gosh. What? No, no hot water. They didn't know what ice was. Drank their beer warm. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> warm beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'd get out and play softball and try to get cold beer, but they didn't know what ice was. They treat you all right, though, the English? Yeah, pretty well so until B, uh, B E day, and then what? And then they started turning against. Oh, they needed you for a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just say go home, you ain't yeah. Okay. Um, did you see Big Ben uh, in, in London? Or <coughs> some of the sights. If I did, I was too inebriated. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, did any of the time that you spend in uh, London ever match that liberty you had in New York? Oh, no. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, we had to buy it. See, they, they don't believe in uh, hard liquor. Who does so, it? The English? Yeah. Oh. So in the pubs, that's what bars are, uh, they'd set out one bottle a night, rest of it was beer. So we had to go quick to one bar to get our whiskey. Mm -hmm. And then run to the next bar for for the drink it all. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. Now, did you ever have to? Uh, was, was your ship ever in danger or anything? Oh, uh, a couple of times uh, we had submarine alerts across the channel, oh, yeah. but uh, we never did uh, did get hit or anything. Okay. Um, did you ever have to send any radio signals of an emergency? Nature? No, mostly we used voice over there in the channel. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. And, but uh, if we got orders through uh, NSS, that was from Washington, but well, it was in code. 
mm -hmm. and we had to copy it down and take it to the decoding officer to let him decipher. Okay. Um, did did you know semaphore flags? Did you yeah, know? most of it. I wasn't really good at it, but okay. I knew a few words. <laughs> Well, um, have, did did you ever um, have you ever kept in touch with any of the friends that you that you met in the military? We have a reunion every year. Uh, first one I went to was 1990 out in St. Louis, mm -hmm. and we went to Boston, Washington D.C., uh, Mobile, Alabama last year, and San Diego, California, and there's a couple of them I didn't get to go. Mm -hmm. out in Las Vegas, but every year we get together mm -hmm. and uh, we can't find half of them. Oh really? Of course, a lot of them dead and yeah. well just since I've been going there's been two of them died. It always came to the reunion. Okay. So this, this year they're having it in St. Louis again. So I'm going to try to make it. I don't know where I can. In St. Louis? Um, what's the, what's the worst thing that ever happened to you in the military? Only one bottle of whiskey in the bar? <laughs> no, I had two fifths tucked down in, on my, uh, in my waistband, climbed the ladder up the ship, both of them fell out into the ocean. That's terrible. That's about the worst. That's the worst, worst thing. thing that happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh. I learned more in that three years of in him than I ever did outside. Mm -hmm. I didn't mind at all. Because I always had to drop late to sleep. Right. And, uh, Not like Ray Mullen. No. <laughs> and, and my brother, Junior, was in the South Pacific. And was he in the Navy? Yeah. No, he was in the Army. Oh, he was? Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, what were your other brothers in? Theodore. He was in the Navy. He was on the North. Where was that? Uh, in Pacific. Okay. And then you had another brother. Yeah, Carl. He was younger. He didn't go in until after VJ Day. Okay. And he spent the, most of his time over in Germany in the occupation. Occupation. Um, do, you, do you have anything else you want to say? Have you ever been in a? Have you been in any military organization, veterans organizations? Uh, just uh, VFW, American Legion. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> Navy leg, three of them. What'd you do with your uniform? I don't know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't get into it. Anyway, now. it wouldn't matter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Museum piece. Now yeah, we moved around after I got married. We moved around for months. Of... When you got back, what did you do? Well, I drew my fifty-two twenty. Yeah. 20 bucks for 52 weeks? Yeah. A week for 52. Yeah. Okay. And then I went to, back to Dayton and worked a while at the, the Patterson Field, Wright Field. Okay. And uh, then I went to uh, radio school in Washington, D.C. for about uh, six months. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. For an engineer. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I like to start, that's on $50 a month. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> so I, when I came home for a vacation, I just stayed. I never did go back. Uh, I went to work at Williams. You remember when you were discharged? Yeah. The day? It was the 16th of February, but I don't know what. 46? Yeah, in 46. Uh, were you in New York when you were discharged? Or? No, what? Great Lakes, Illinois. Okay, great. Yeah, we went to Great Lakes. And, uh, so when you get out, what what did you do then? Come home back here? Yeah, from Great Lakes down to here. Yeah, just stayed around around the house, and then in 1949 is when I got hurt. The iron bill hit the ball, and so for about two years I was recuperating. Oh, I see. I mean, that's a was a painful operation. But yeah. Uh, when did you get married? Uh, 1949? Yeah. Okay. February uh, 4th, 1949. Or 4th, February. I, I think it was the 4th, maybe the 8th. <laughs> I don't know. Shh. 
<laughs> we don't want to stir anything. Anyway, it was in February. We don't want to stir anything up. <laughs> now, uh, you remember, uh, uh, did you folks know you were coming that day that you, you, you finally showed up? Did you yeah, call them? They charged. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. called them. Told you. Did you and take the train? Yeah, took the train and got out over in the South Shore, mm -hmm. CNO. Mm -hmm. And uh, the train was late. So I took a, took a bus or a taxi across the river to Portsmouth and come to 140, and I was going to throw them home, and they here here come mom and dad. Oh, is that right? Yeah. They had, uh, well, they, they had the ticket off to the Earth Hotel, and they said the train would be later or something. They were going to go down to the Earth Hotel? Or? Well, they were at the Earth oh, they Hotel. Were there. Uh, oh, they were coming back from Portsmouth. Yeah. Okay. And picked me up. I'd be thumbing down there on. And they picked up this hitchhiker. It happened to be you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I bet that was a good time. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. Uh, now, do you have uh, anything else you'd like to say, Alfred? Got any tattoos you want to talk about? No. <laughs> that's what I was talking the other day. I seen tattoos. I said. As many wild parties I've been to, I never did get a tattoo. Well, a lot of them did, yeah. but I didn't. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm not tattooed enough. <laughs> One way or the other. My, my bypass <laughs> surgery and everything else. All right, all right. Um, I guess that's about all I've got to say, unless you want to add something. I have nothing to say. Just, uh, I got 14 grandchildren. and. 18 or 19 great grandkids. Well, maybe they're going to watch this here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, they have 18. Somebody had one. Oh, Raymond had his wife had a baby or three months ago. Uh -huh. So it's about the 19 great grandkids. Okay. All right. And that's a big clan. Yeah. Hey? Can you imagine? <laughs> in this it room would be hard for me to time. imagine. It would be hard for me to imagine. <laughs> okay, well, thanks a lot. That's okay. everything you did. Okay, appreciate it. And that will do it. <clears throat> that was painless, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Dana Ramsey Carr. And are you related to that guy? This is my dad. That's your dad? Yes. Okay. <laughs> she, she's my nurse. She is, huh? Yes. Was she a good nurse or did she? Uh, oh, yeah. She okay. shows up every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, we do. All right, very good. Uh, are any of your kids here? Yes, my daughter is here, Ashley. Get her in here. She's the one, she's the one that just passed. She walked by? Ago. Can you yes. have her sit there? Ashley, I'm here. Who's this? Is this you? That's my wedding picture. Oh, no kidding. We got to get that. <laughs> okay. I guess they want you to sit right there. Right there. Yeah. What's your name? Ashley Stone. Ashley what? Stone? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ashley, who are you? This is my papa. <laughs> <laughs> the other lady in red there is your mommy, isn't that yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> I just wanted you to. How old are you? 26. Okay. What do you do? I cut hair at Timothy's. Do you? Uh huh. Cut hair at Timothy's. She's a cosmetologist. Who's there that I know? Just her and Timothy's. All, all oh, is that? There. It's all left mm -hmm. now? Okay. Yeah. Wait, is there dust what? on that? I've got it off now. Well, you want. That's his wedding picture. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, you get it where you. I've got a. There might be some glare on it there now. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Uh, tilt it forward just a little bit. Yeah, now tilt it back a little bit. <laughs> back a little bit more. Back a little more, Daddy. Yeah. That, who are those people in that picture? <laughs> <laughs> That's your wedding picture, right? Yep. You and your wife, okay. It's Dane and Dorothy. Dane and Dorothy. Do you, are you called Dane or are you called Alfred? Dane. Dane? Okay. Here. Huh? Every place else is Alfred. Okay. I started Locally, using Alfred when I went to the Navy. Locally, they all know him as Dane. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm.
Well, I'm videotaping veterans, and now his uh, tape will be on the shelf at the Portsmouth Public Library. Okay, so a hundred years from now, your grandchildren can go back in and, and see it. And great grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. Uh, I forgot about. That. Oh, Terry. Yeah, that's. Uh, oh, yeah. I got that in there. Did you I, get that I in there? there? Yeah. Who's Terry? Yeah, Terry is my brother. Terry. Son. Son. Yeah. Terry. Oh, hey, Terry. He's a grandkid. His, yeah. His. That's Dane the third. Oh, that's the third. Okay. Yeah. All right. Dane the third. Get him in there. We still have a little more tape here. When that light goes out, we're out of tape. <clears throat> Where are they going? They put on Paul there. Okay. Okay. Come here and sit on the light. Yeah. Take your hat off, LT. Who's that man there? Yeah. Who is that man? Who's number three there? What's your I name? Am. I'm okay. Alfred Dane Ramsey III. Who's that fellow beside you there? That's my grandpa, 